I got fired. Yes. You got fired. Because I told a student um, to not call me that. So the president of the school district, Gloria Reyes, said in a statement she wants the board to review the zero tolerance policy. The school apparently is looking into their zero tolerance policy. As I said, Cher is ready to pay your legal fees. Are you ready to fight for your job through legal means now? Absolutely. Absolutely. The students went to bat for me in such an amazing way that I feel like I'm obligated to go back. Mm -hmm. I want to go back. I love the students. Yeah. I love the staff. I love my job. And I feel like I should be able to go back and continue to um, serve our community. Yeah. Let me, Marla, let me get you to stand by. I got civil rights attorney Charles Coleman Jr. with us. Uh, thank you, Charles, for joining us. Is this a civil rights matter? It absolutely is. I think. In terms of a civil rights framework, one of the things that has happened to Mr. Anderson is that he has essentially been retaliated against for standing up for his rights in the workplace. And so there's an issue there. The second issue, from a legal perspective, is that there doesn't appear to have been any due process whatsoever. Most employment situations have what's called a progressive discipline policy, where you start with a conversation, then you have a write-up, then you have a suspension, and so on and so forth. In this instance, it seems like they just went straight to termination without any sort of review, any sort of process to actually see what happened from a factual standpoint. And both of those constitute serious violations of his civil rights as an employee. So, Cher says she will pay his legal fees, but what are the legal options? Well, he can, he can absolutely file a lawsuit against the school and the school district uh, seeking to be either reinstated or seeking to have a financial compensation for the time that he's been out of work yeah. after being terminated uh, and pursue it in the, in the course. Yeah. Marlon, uh, before I let you go, what did you... You have a message for folks who insist on questioning whether it's appropriate to use this word in any circumstance. What do you say? Education, we have to educate ourselves about the history of the word. It's a very harmful word. And my, one of my concerns is our students not only use it, but that's how a lot of our students, not all of them, they see themselves like that. And I try to use any type of situation like this as a learning experience, a teaching moment to bring up the history and to show them you are so much more than this word. Never identify yourself with this word because you are so much greater and you're created for greatness. Yeah. And just real quick, for the record, was the student a student of color or a white student? He was a student of color. So Didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> yeah, and that's why you said it's important to have this conversation across the yeah, board. Yeah, I saw it coming. Yeah, you saw it coming. Well, Mr. Ron, you must be doing something right that the kids were willing to go out there and protest for you to get your job back. So we will follow your story, and we wish you nothing but the best as you try to turn this into a teachable moment.